Now I've re-gloved, sanitized the area, and I'm bringing cooked product in here. So if you're handling rotisserie chicken and you've done the setup for rotisserie, it's gone to the oven and now you have it back or chicken breasts or legs, this area has to be cleaned before you put prepared product on it. So we would check again temperatures, 180 degrees, 180 degrees to make sure everything is at the right temperature. And you'll note there's no products around me, no raw products at all. This has to be pristine by itself. This is now classified as a food ready and food ready gets nothing around it. So you've got the chickens now, these will go directly into hold. Now let's talk about hold a little bit. In holding of chicken, the laws are very clear. You're either holding it above 135 degrees or you're 41 or below. In between is the danger zone and at 75 to 120, you've got all kinds of growth that can take place on foods and specifically chicken. So we're holding at 135 or above. Now, that leads to where you hold it. If you're holding it in a holding box, you want to make sure that you don't only agree with the thermometer on the holding box. You need to check the temperatures with either a gun or a surface temperature probe, one or the other, to make sure that holding box is working correctly. Once you're sure it's working correctly, if you're holding only roasted chicken, in that box, you would make sure that the moisture level was very low, and if you're not opening the door often, you would set it at 140 degrees, which would give you a five degree play if you're opening and closing the door a little bit. If you open and close it for service, opening and closing all the time, I would have put it at 145 degrees to protect against the heat loss by the time you open and close the door a number of times. So. Once we've got that settled and you've set the moisture correct, the hold should be wonderful. Now I want you to understand that if you're seeing your chicken temperature drop even though you're holding at the correct temperature, don't only blame your equipment, but if it is holding and dropping, two things are happening. One, if you've held it too long, and chicken should not be held more than four hours. I don't care what chicken it is, four hours and done. You can repurpose it if it's been held correctly or you have to throw it away, one or the other. But let's say you've gone your four hours and you're at 165 in the case and you found it dropping and it was now at 130 in the case and it's almost four hours. Well, what's happening is it's not your box traditionally dropping in temperature, it's the amount of moisture drying out in your chicken. Moisture is the vehicle for driving temperature into your products. If you've got a dry product, it's far harder to keep it up to temp. If you're drying it out like chicken will dry out, it will affect the temperature internal and it would be very hard to hold it above temp without really drying it out. So you need to be very careful with that. The other thing is if you're finding that your chicken is dropping temperature very quickly, it's most probably the heated holding box you need to have service come in and they'd make sure that the units were running right. But you need to verify that and don't serve the chicken if it drops below 135. That's the hold. Now, go to the heated line, whether it be a heated well, a countertop heater, whatever it may be. If you put it out on the service line, Two things are gonna happen. It's gotta be under a sneeze guard, and secondly, it's gotta be held at 135 or above, and that's a real challenge in an open container. So you will have to set your holding on the buffet line higher than 145 to make sure it keeps the product correctly. Make sure there's water in those pans and you're keeping that product hot. The kick is you need to check it often. And if it's below 135, it's out of there and four hours is the most on that buffet line. And truthfully, two hours should be from a look point of view, because after two hours, it starts to look a little funky. If there are gravies on those products or sauces, you need to be stirring those during the time it's on the hold, like a chicken cacciatore really needs to be rotated and stirred so things don't dry out. But the bottom line is 135 or above, or 41 and below, and there's no room in between. And the Board of Health will pull product if they find 
that you're violating those rules. Mm -hmm.